So today, what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be diving into my website. I'm gonna be booking as if I was a client. We're gonna go over the process of me booking as a client and then also what I'm getting on my end as a client once I book. On top of that, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys the administrative part of how it looks on my end as the company, right? So let's go ahead and dive into it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my website here, 360 Photo Booth, and here I am. I logged on just now, um, so I am here on the first page, okay, sweet. So one thing I wanna show you guys is this. I'm gonna go in as if I never logged in before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up an incognito window here. I'm gonna type in Google, and then I'm gonna type in 360 Photo Booth rental all right and there's my uh social medias and there's my website right here so i'm going to access my website and i want you guys to play uh pay close attention to something right so here i am on my website and look at what popped up one of the first things that popped up says winner twenty dollars off your booking if you book today use code lucky so how cool is that you're shopping around for prices, you're trying to get the best deal, but you also wanna get someone with reputation and credibility so they look at your Google profile reviews, they look at your photos and your videos, so they make it to your website. Now your website is gonna act as a funnel, and we wanna funnel these clients into the part where they hit submit when they are ready to make the deposit. That's our goal as a business, is to make everything very, very easy and also captivating for them. So. Right off the bat, as you guys can see, I got this notification to pop up, offering them $20 off their booking. So for me, if I was a client, I would definitely keep that in mind because $20 goes a long ways. All right, so just wanted to point that out. Now let's say for example, I am interested in booking the 360 photo booth for two hours. I can go to read more if I need to get more information and then that's gonna create more confidence because now I am more educated, right? But I'm good to go and so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to book now. Now we go to book now, I'm gonna go ahead and select Sunday and then we're gonna choose a time, let's say show all sessions, show all sessions, 8 p.m., okay? And I'm gonna hit next right after this. Okay, so now it, it wants me to put my name, which I'm gonna put my name, right? And then I'm gonna put my email as well. And then I'm gonna put my phone number in, starting with area code one and then six, Two six three nine two eighty nine ninety nine, and then the the form is asking me these questions: Is your event located indoors or outdoors? I'm gonna put outdoors. Will there be access to a power outlet within fifty feet? Yes. How many guests are attending? Four hundred. Enter venue address. I'm just gonna put my address there really quick. Can you provide Wi-Fi if needed? Mm, yes or no, right? Would you like a personalized overlay? If yes, please provide the desired wording, colors, and theme. Um, happy birthday, Sonia. And then for the colors, black and gold. Okay, it's that simple. So now I have all of this information. And one part that I really enjoy about this form that I customized is the fact that I'm already asking them in advance if there's gonna be an outlet within 50 feet. Now, some of us, most of us have 360 booths and we use a portable battery and that's what I recommend and that's what I use. However, I like connecting the regular photo booth to a power outlet because of the LED light eats up a lot of energy, a lot of power, okay? And so that's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and go to book now right here on the right side. And then the next thing I wanna see is if it's going to allow me to book, but also use that promo code we seen earlier. So if I go to enter promo code and I type in lucky like this and then hit apply, I wanna see, yep, it kicked in. So it kicked in, as you guys can see, it's still asking for the $200 deposit, but it took $20 off the main total. So later on, the balance is due 10 days before the event date. They're only gonna pay $335. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward, but I'm gonna pause the video because I'm, I'm gonna enter my credit card information, okay? But this is the part that I wanted to show you guys and I'm glad you guys got a really good visual on how cool some of these things are that we can utilize once we have a Wix account. Now I use Wix because Wix is doing an incredible job on evolving and also just 
arming us with the right tools that we need as entrepreneurs or solopreneurs or small businesses, mini businesses to really get our business going. So let me enter this information right here and then I'll see you guys in the checkout. So let me go ahead and continue. All right, here we go. So now it went through. Thank you, David Rodriguez, who received confirmation email soon. It gave me an order number. It gave me, uh, it's reflecting the promo code LUCKY, which is great. Uh, it shows my payment method and my address. So that, that is completed. I am the client. I'm thinking, good, great. Next thing I'm going to do is probably call and try to get a DJ, uh, maybe a bartender and all that stuff, right? So we want to make this as easy as possible. And I can even add it to my Google Calendar if I wanted to, okay? But now, as a client, I'm gonna go ahead and check my email and see what I'm going to be receiving from Canary Capital Rentals as far as when I go check my email. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna look for the email here. And let's go look for the email. All right, sweet. So, we're gonna open up this email first. It says, hi, your appointment is all set. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. And then it says 360 booth, two hours at the client's place. And then the price, right? The discount, the lead operator, David. And then all of the questions that they answered are right here. So that's good. I feel confident that the system recorded what I inputted. All right, let's check out the secondary email that the client's going to get. So now the email that the client's going to get is labeled urgent 360 photo booth agreement, please, right? So as soon as I see urgent from Canary Capital Rentals, I'm curious to see what's the urgency. So it's titled 360 photo booth agreement, please review and sign within 48 hours. So then the client receives this contract, which is concise and straight to the point. And on top of that, I highlighted, I think the most important parts of the actual contract, which is 360 photo booth contract, please review and sign within 48 hours. Once again, guys, I want that contract signed within 48 hours. And then payment. The client pays a total of $555 for a two hour 360 photo booth rental, not including any promotional deals, which is great because throughout the year, I might or I might not have promotional deals. But fact is, they're gonna be paying at least $555, okay, cool. Balance due, that's also highlighted. The remaining rental amount is due 10 days before the event date. That's great, that's good information that you want the uh, client to know. And then space and placement. The client provides a 10 by 10 by 10 flat surface, keyword flat surface space with a power outlet within 50 feet for the 360 booth setup. And then right here, as you guys can say, as you guys can see, thanks for booking the 360 booth for two hours. See you July 30th at 8 p.m., which is freaking beautiful. All of this happened just with the, within that information the client inputted and that's because I created prompts and I created an automation to get triggered when this information got fed into Wix. So I also was able to put my phone number here and my website that takes them back to the website for whatever reason, right? But now I made it very easy for them to sign so they're gonna go ahead and click on a sign right here and that's gonna take them to this page and this page is gonna be David Rodriguez, right? They're gonna type in their name. This also could be done on a mobile device. And now right here, they're just gonna put in their signature, which I'm doing like that right now. And then the date, they can select the date, today's date, and then submit, boom, it's done. What's wonderful about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that I just removed, I wanna say close to like a 15 minute task, right? From opening up the contract. Basically, I saved, I wanna say close to 15 minutes for me opening up the contract, revising it, inserting their information, downloading it, right? And then sending it to their email, writing them an email. And, and it's, it's crazy because if you guys think about it, right? If you guys had two events in one week and let's say this process takes close to maybe, let's say 15 minutes, wow. Just imagine how much time and money you are saving now. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to start a Patreon page because some of this insightful stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys, I paid a lot of money for. I consider it uh, a great investment because I'm in a situation where I'd rather pay for speed, you know, accelerated learning instead of trying to do everything on my own and learn everything on my own, which can take me 
few hours to days. And so the Patreon page was made for people that are serious about their business, that want to streamline their business and run a business that's way more efficient because sometimes we want to just manage a business that brings in, let's say, at least $100,000 a year with minimal effort. So that is my goal and this is why I decided to start a Patreon page because it's you, the members, that are going to continue to push me to continue evolving, growing, educating myself, coming back to the platform, to the Patreon page and share how I accomplish things, how I manage to do X, Y, and Z. So for everyone on the Patreon page, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this inside of Wix so that you guys can get the same results. But before I do that, let's go into my email and see how that looks now as far as the administrator end, right? So how things look on my end. Let's check that out. So here I am on my phone. I refresh. It says full name David Rodriguez. Then I go click where it says signed. And I'm able to see the signature, which is great. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. And I can either respond or keep this. But this is great because all I have to do now is keep this as an attachment. And that's pretty much it. So I'm good to go. It saved me a ton of time. Guys, uh, this is the way I hope you guys are running your business. So if you are a Wix user, I'm going to be diving into the video on showing exactly how to automate this process. And I know that this right here is definitely going to be a game changer for you. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you on the Patreon channel. Peace out. Take care. Good luck on your next event. Peace.